Hi, I'm Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. I am here at the Kano booth. We've done some reviews on Kano before. They make a buildable computer for kind of preteens. And today they're showing off what's coming in likely 2019, but they may pull a rabbit out of the hat, as Alex has mentioned, uh, and come out later this year, maybe for Christmas, who knows. <laughs> Uh, but this is Alex Klein, the CEO and founder of Kano. Uh, why don't you give us a little bit of background about why you started Kano sure. and a little more about the camera. So, I mean, I used to be a journalist. I used to be on the other side of the microphone. Um, I encountered this little chipset, this brain, in a Cambridge lab, the Raspberry Pi. Showed it to my little cousin Mika, who was six at the time, and he made this challenge. He said, he was asking me what I could do with it, and he, he, I was trying to explain to him all these techie, hackery projects. None of that interested him. My cousin Mika's challenge was, I want to make my own computer, but it has to be as simple and fun as Lego, so no one teaches me. From there, we created the first computer encoding kit for all ages, took it to Kickstarter, became the most crowdfunded learning invention ever. We're now the top selling STEM products at over 4,500 retail doors in North America. We let you make computers, screens, music, artwork, games, and soon, as you mentioned, yeah. cameras. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, what can I tell you? So, what about this camera is going to be unique? Is it high def? Like, what are the pixels? What can kids do with this? It's a great question. So, you know, at the core of it, as with every, like, Cano product, you, you've got, like, a powerful little board. You've got, like, a five megapixel brain. So, you're taking high quality photos, you're adding buttons and dials, you're crafting lenses, adding sensors. But when, when it comes to life, it's really the software that gives you the new powers. You're using step-by-step -step code to make your own photo filters, to customize your own flashes, uh, to set timers, to make uh, a photo uh, a photo booth that captures flowers blooming over time or the sun as it goes across the sky. So in a world where like a lot of people are using imagery as a form of communication and like basically pre-selecting pre-made filters made by you know geniuses at Snapchat, we're demystifying and democratizing imagery. We're making uh, photography into a creative pursuit end to end, not just a point and click. Yeah. Technology behind creating the image and creating the image itself. Yeah, and telling a story as well, you know, taking you into you know how flashes work, taking you into how lenses work, beautifully illustrating it like a storybook and then letting you share your creations with others in 86 countries so they can manipulate it and hope it, hopefully make it better. You know, you see a lot of similarity. It used to be that photos were taken in all sorts of ways with all kinds of substances. Now, most of us take photos in the same ways with our smartphones. We want to democratize that. We want it to be diverse. We want it to be possible for anyone to shape uh, this really core form of human expression. Yeah. And so will this cam the camera connect to, I'm assuming it'll connect to other Kano computers yeah. that they're building. Yeah. Would it also connect to a phone or other devices that these kids may have to share these photos? Yeah. So Kano Code, which is the software system that teaches a beginner how to code and lets them manipulate you know, creative assets, uh, works on any device with a web browser and connects wirelessly to our kits like the Pixel Kit, like the Motion Sensor Kit and the Camera Kit. So it'll work with any computer, any tablet, and if we you know, pull a, a rabbit out of a rabbit out of a hat, maybe on your smartphone as well, yeah. Okay. Very cool. Again, this is Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. I'm with Alex Klein of Kano Computing, yeah. and this is the Kano camera coming out potentially later this year, likely 2019. Yes, thanks. Thanks for tuning in.